when we were talking pre-market that if you like the short side, that 86 area would be the key. So that's one of the reasons why we said if, you know, keep an eye on this, this guy right here because this is where they had been rejected early. So we're inside that box right now. Time-wise, you know, that 3 o'clock high. And whenever you get a sharp, sharp move like this and then consolidation, uh, I like to think of it as range type trading. You know, these sharp moves back and forth kind of defines that range. So that's one of the, the reasons why it, it helped us to define this first, first swing range right here. So we said anybody that um, likes the short side, pay attention to the 86 zone because you'll get reasonable odds there rather than trying to short in the 82s or 81s or whatever. So we are testing the overnight low right now. And we had said possibility that uh, this 79, 75 will be a key. And that breaks and we can open the door to you know, 78, 77. So for now, all we know is that we are auctioning, re-auctioning this territory from late day Friday. That's all we know. Uh, don't get too negative today. Don't get too positive. Just think of it more range trading uh, as the market tries to sort out this range. And I do believe that we have um, the JV team on the field early. NQ ahead of itself, ran some stops, took out the high, and now we've come right back into the range. And we're testing the overnight low. Here is your last known, you know, big support, this zone right here from Friday. And we said anybody that was looking to short, use that 87 zone as your stop. That was our uh, demon. Still no, you know, decisive blood coming backwards. But we have rejected the high, certainly from Friday, and obviously we're challenging the rain line. What I don't want to do today is overthink this and get too bearish or too bullish. This 72 and a quarter was our last known angel from Friday. So uh, this, this is the advanced support zone in here. All of this, all of these rotations right here. Right here, 78 area. You know, we take out the 78, then we can challenge in here. But a reminder, I, I'm, I don't want to get too bearish, and I certainly don't want to get too bullish after you know all we've had. It's just we've got the end of the month, and a lot of times you do need to come backwards to pick up a few passengers to, to do this again. Because the market is clearly you know very low volume. You've got the end of the month. You've got vacation time. You've got slow trading. So I think we're better off not thinking position, but thinking um, smaller swings this week, especially next couple of days. And hard to chase, you know. This is how you get beat. If if you miss the 86 and then you say, okay, I'm jumping in because we're going this way. That, that's how they beat us. You've got to take it when you really don't want it. You know, I, I, I put that line here earlier and I said, okay, that's <clears throat> that may be resistance zone first. Well, it turned out it did. So now, now you say, okay, we're going this way and jump in here. That, that's how you get whipsawed in this business. And there are sometimes in a trend day, obviously you've got to chase. But when, when all these lines are tight and horizontal, I look at that as more range-type trading. They're not very effective uh, 
to help you determine direction. You now we're better off using our magnets. And these algos, man, they know how to hit the the double bottoms and the tops. You know, they go right to it. 